Do you have a good system for organizing your kids' art projects, toys, or puzzles with lots of pieces? <laughs> now I'm gonna have to clean that up. Today I'm going to share with you a new system that I have found that I'm really excited about to help me organize the kids' art projects and keepsakes and memories, and also a system I've been using for a couple years now that I really love for organizing the kids' puzzles or toys with all those little small pieces you do not want to lose. So first, let's talk about how to organize art and memory keepsakes. This is how I've been organizing the kids art and special birthday cards and memory keepsakes. I just date the items and honestly, I just toss it in here. And this is really not a good system. It's kind of controlled chaos. And I knew I wanted something that was more organized where I could have a container for each kid. So let me share with you what I found and I'm really excited about. So. This is what I had in my brain. And then I was on Instagram and I saw this and I was like, this is exactly what I want. I do like the tote system. As you can see, I had a tote, but this is tote plus. This is better than what I was doing. So you do get a tote, but what's in this box is really the magic of what takes this ordinary tote and makes it a really great organizing system for your child's memories. This is called the School Years Children's Memory Kit from a company called The Short Years. And what it includes is the tote and then this box with really special files. I'm gonna sh share these with you up close so you can see um, why I fell in love with this organizing system. The kit comes with a pen as well as a label that you can add your child's name or any person's name and customize the font. It also includes labels for the files that will go in this box. So you can really capture your keepsakes from preschool all the way through high school. You can see there's the different grades as well as files for artwork, special keepsakes, photos, cards and letters, etc. Now what I love about these files is they are just not any files. As you can see, there's a space to put a photo for the child at that grade or year. Their signature, so how they wrote their name at that time, the year that they are, their age, and then more personal information about them, such as what they want to be when they grow up and what they're really good at, some of their favorites and other special memories. And I love, this is the memory keepsake moment that I love about these boxes. Is it's not just a tote with files where you put your children's artwork or projects per year, but it's also like a baby book or a children's memory book. And so with each file, you can look back and remember special things about your child from each year. So I have one of these kits for each of my kids, and this is gonna be a project for me because I need to go back through the years put photos on the files and fill in some of these files, organize their memories. I'm looking forward to doing it because it's really fun to take a trip down memory lane. I've been wanting to get more organized for a long time, but I have yet to get started. I wanted to share with you the kits, what I have found in case you're looking for something similar. And then if you follow me on Instagram stories, that's where I share a lot more of just life and behind the scenes and up to dates, etc. So you probably will see me sharing the kits once I'm a little bit further along in the organization process on my Instagram stories. So next I want to share with you these zippered pouches. I've been using these for years and they are a great way to organize puzzles or toys with small pieces that you do not want to lose. As a parent, I'm sure you have lots of items like that, puzzles and items that really need to match with that activity or toy. And if you lose one of them, it's frustrating to be able to put the whole thing together. So these have been amazing. We use them for so many different activities. We do a lot of paper play for homeschool, storytelling. And so it's just nice to have a system. I love how they lay flat so you can really they don't take up a lot of space. If these all came in like the puzzles, like their original boxes and items, it would take up so much space in a cupboard or in a closet. But these you can line up. I have like a basket. I line these all up and it's 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 so great. Um, where's, I'm gonna show you this one here. So this is a United States puzzle we have. And look how tiny all these little tiny pieces are. These, we would have lost these if it was not for these pouches. So these pouches come in a bunch of different sizes. They have this size, there's I think bigger sizes, there's for sure smaller sizes, we have those as well, which is nice if you have smaller puzzles, like jigsaw puzzles where there's only 25 pieces or 50 pieces and you don't need a big pouch for just a smaller puzzle. 
These are amazing. We love them. I cannot recommend them enough, and I will link these below in the video description box. If you and your family love books and you love to read, sooner or later, you will start having lots of books around your house, whether books you own or books from the library. And you may be like me and need a really good system for organizing your books, but you may not want a bookshelf or be able to have a bookshelf in every single room. So one tip that I love is having baskets. So in our living room, we don't have actually a bookshelf in the living room, but I love having books in every room because it makes it really easy for the kids to just grab a book and read. So in the living room, I have multiple baskets. I have a library basket and a basket for books we own. Of course they get mixed, but ideally we try to keep them separate. But aesthetically, I love the look of baskets. It's very beautiful. And um, it's a really good way to organize books throughout the house in my daughter and my son's room they do each have a um, bookshelf in their room but it's also really nice to have a basket by their bed with books maybe they're rotating out from the library or books that they're currently reading in our homeschool room we have a bookshelf but i still have baskets for books that maybe we're focusing on specifically for a special unit we're learning about like right now we're learning about butterflies and moths and so it's fun to have baskets where i can pull from the bookshelf books that we're specifically focusing on now baskets you can find all over the place target home goods but one tip is also to try to look for baskets and go thrifting because you can find a lot of great baskets at thrift stores as well for a much lower price than you can at some of the other stores but of course I buy both baskets sometimes I'll buy baskets from Target because I just really love the look of it and that's exactly the size and the shape that I need sometimes when you go thrifting you're just kind of at the mercy of whatever is available and it may not be the exact look or the fit that you need but I do bring up thrifting because if you just need a basket and you don't really care the size or, or the look, you can get baskets for a really great price at thrift stores. So keep your eyes open whether you're going to a store or a thrift store, but there's baskets all throughout my house. It's just a really simple tip to help organize your baskets if you don't have or you don't want bookshelves in every single room, um, or even if you have bookshelves in every room, if you want to kind of organize your books um, for themes or books you're currently reading or library books, etc. So a very simple tip, but invest in some baskets and it will be a great way to aesthetically organize your books. Last but not least, I want to share with you my favorite organizer and planner for homeschool and kid activities. It is my favorite because I have created it because I have looked and tried lots of different planners and none really fit the needs of my brain and how I like to organize our days and what's coming up. So I created this really simple digital printable organizer. You can use it for homeschool. You don't have to use it for homeschool. You can also just use it for organizing your life, your life with your kids, activities, books or activities that you're reading at home or books you want to check out from the library coming up. And I love it because I can just print out a few pages at a time and I don't have to have a big heavy planner or notebook that sometimes can be intimidating. I also love that it's printable. So if I'm working on a week and somehow everything changes and I just need to start over with planning for that week, I can and I don't have, I haven't used up a page in my planner um, that maybe you can't reuse again or you'd have to erase everything and it's just committed to that week. So I love that I can just print as many pages as I need whenever I need. It's a really great resource um, and it's on my shop Nutrition School House. So I will link that below if you're looking for a really great planner or organizer for your home and for your life. Well, that's it for today's video. Just really simple sharing some organization tips that I love and that I'm excited about and that work for us and our family. As someone who works from home, homeschools and is home a lot with my kids, it's so important that I have really good systems set up for organizing all these different areas and categories of our lives and things that we have at home. And I would love to know what are some of your favorite organizing resources or tools that have helped you organize your space and your home better. Better. feel free to share with me in the comments below thank you so much for watching thank you for subscribing to my channel and I will see you in the next video bye